Most of us would consider the end of the human race as a catastrophe. There are some, however, who will not only rejoice at it, but want to hasten the day it arrives. Transhumanists look forward to a future in which Homo sapiens is superseded by a better, smarter, fitter model, Humanity 2.0. Humans are in dire need of improvement. Any species that causes huge damage to our environment can't feed itself, even though it has enough food, and fights countless wars costing millions of lives must surely benefit from an intelligence upgrade. Our lifespans are short, our final years usually characterised by diminishing health and vitality, often accompanied by a drop-off in cognitive capacity. Is this really the best we can hope for? Transhumanists think not. Ageing could be stopped and even reversed. Enhancements could dramatically raise our IQs and make us stronger and fitter. We might even be able to leave our fragile bodies behind and upload ourselves to computers, living forever in virtual worlds. Improving humanity through science and technology could radically change us. Such a new beginning would in effect be the end of humanity as we know it. Many transhumanists see this as not only desirable, but inevitable. The scientist and futurist Ray Kurzweil believes we are approaching what he calls the singularity, the point at which computers become smart enough to learn for themselves, after which they will rapidly become smarter and smarter. The future belongs to artificial intelligence. The only way for humanity to survive is to embrace it and become wholly or partially artificial ourselves. The thought of being replaced by a new form of humanity is bound to be unsettling. But transhumanists think we would be wrong to lament the end of humanity as we know it, when what replaces us would be so much better. It would be like wishing children never grew up, or that Homo erectus never evolved into Homo sapiens. If the transhumanists are right, we could be one of the last generations of humans to roam the planet.